and television dude here with another pickups video and there's no games today so if you're looking for games uh, no need to keep watching uh, last couple of times we went to McKay's I just haven't seen any games that I wanted or nothing in my price range I'm kinda picky right now because I'm kinda in the middle of a couple games so it's like I don't really need anything so I'm not sure about when I'm beginning any games anytime soon First we got a couple CDs. This was just a CD single of The Memory Remains by Metallica for only 68 cents and I got it because it said it for song two it was For Whom the Bell Tolls Haven't Heard It Yet Mix. So I thought that sounded interesting. The Strokes, Room on Fire. I know a certain somebody nam named Broken1394 who is kind of missing in action still. I know he really likes this because I think he had part of a... I think he had the video 1251 on his uh, channel a long time ago. I like The Strokes, but I just never owned this album. Just never got around to it. This was in the free box outside. Uh, some of the pages are coming apart and they're falling apart at the seams. They really wore this one out, but it was Rex Mundi, The Guardian of the Temple. It was the comic and it's free, so I'll check it out. <clears throat> uh, Tales from the Crypt number one. It is a reprint, but still cool. Nonetheless, Tales from the Crypt. You can't go wrong with that. Okay, these are backwards here. Hold on. I, wanna sh I wanted to show these in the correct order here. Okay, this is the second series of Ghost Rider. Here is number one. These were all a dollar. I took the price tags off some of these already. Ghost Rider number two. Ghost Rider number three. Ghost Rider number four. I love Ghost Rider. I'm really wanting the first series, but that would be a long journey. Because here's number 61, and here's number 79. These aren't as in good of a shape, but just to have them is cool. Oh, here's number 16 from the second series. Uh, the Savage Dragon, number one. I remember having this back in the day. I don't remember much about it, except I think he's like, uh, works for the law enforcement, and he's a badass. And he's a dragon. Uh, number two of six of Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash. Now I, uh, I have a task of tracking down the other five. Married with Children, number one. Uh, this was a great show back in the day. So great that it was one of the few shows that I watched. And, well, actually, that's a lie. I watched a lot of TV around this time and age. But th there is no sitcoms on TV today that can match Married with Children and or Seinfeld. I'm sorry. I, I would like to get these on DVD eventually as well. I don't watch TV anymore. That's how much I think it sucks. Uh, this one I got just because of the awesome cover. It's the Batman uh, Detective Comics. It's part of the Night Quest. But how can I pass up a cover that has Frankenstein, the Mummy, and the Wolfman on it? You just can't pass that up. That is just so awesome of a cover. And I never knew they had Dawn of the Dead comics. Here's Dawn of the Dead number one. And Dawn of the Dead number two. I don't know how many it's going to take to do the whole movie. Maybe five or six of them. But hopefully I can track down the rest someday. And this one I picked up only because it was a 35 cent comic. You can't pass up a 35 cent comic. Ended up looking at it and it was uh, 1978. Not super old, but still cool. I paid two bucks for this one. This was the only one that was two bucks. Everything else was a dollar or fifty cents. And that's everything. And yes, I'm still playing Okami and I'm still addicted to it. And I should be able to play my Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story soon. And that's good news. So, that's the end of this video. So, thanks for watching.